Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th. You know, the timing is fluid. Next few days, today, tomorrow, whatever, right? So let's just see what comes up. If you'd like to book a reading I, or a coaching session, I do believe I have Thursday and Friday open next week. Yeah. All right, so what do we have? Whoop. Well... Four of Cups on the bottom right now. Now the Four of Cups is somebody that's not really happy. Ignoring something, missing an opportunity. I happen to look at it, so... Unsure. Unsure. We got somebody who's unsure of what to do, whether they want to do this or not. My goodness. These cards, they keep, I just did the card of the day and it ended up being a lot more because they're just not staying in line. So there could be a fallout. There could be a fallout according to my other one that I just did as well. So there could definitely be a fallout. We have somebody here that's struggling, obviously, with that Four of Cups. There's some sort of emotional struggle here. Temperance. Now, temperance is a card of patience, allowance, change. Testing the waters. Somebody's testing the waters. It's like being real, but also being fluid, because, because this is being grounded, but also being fluid. Hmm. There's some sort of divine guidance here. Accepting something. There's some sort of acceptance. Coming to terms with something. Time for a change. Time for something better. Mastering emotions, mastering emo trying to master emotions, trying to do the right thing. This has to do with stability. It's like about having stability, going with the flow, doing something to have stability because of the groundedness. Hmm. Ooh. So the Fool reverse and the Page of Wands reverse. So there's foolishness. There's uh, impulsive behavior. There's a need for moderation, okay? There's a need for moderation. We have somebody here that needs to ground themselves but also be fluid. But you need to, you need to be able to maybe make some sort of compromises or be careful. I got to say be careful, okay? Be careful with these two cards especially. This is, could be headed for a fall, making a poor judgment call. Um, Page of Wands reverse can be bad news, um, inappropriate behavior, impulsiveness. There's definitely some extreme impulsive behavior. There's a need to ground yourself, okay? Very interesting. Fool reverse, headed for a fall, bad news. Um, Somebody here that may not have anything good to say. They bring other people down. Um, there's foolishness. Don't be foolish. Don't be stupid. Think before you act. Think before you act. Don't make impulsive decisions. Be patient. Wait. Take your time. Take your time. Take. This is impulsive behavior. It is. It's acting without thinking, making a poor judgment call, headed for a fall, missing an opportunity. And we, somebody may be missing an opportunity because of that four of cups that was on the bottom. Either they're making a poor judgment call impulsively or they're missing an opportunity. They're not interested in an opportunity. They're not seeing something clearly. Don't jump. Don't jump. Don't jump, but be patient. Be patient. Take your time. Take your time. Somebody needs to take their time.
there could be some bad news with the page of uh, wands reverse not good news could be some setbacks or delays because of inappropriate behavior take your time take your time think about it could be dealing with an Aries could also be dealing with a Leo or a Sagittarius this is fire energy by the looks of things Aries Leo Sagittarius there could be some fear here as well with these two cards we may have somebody here that is in a place of fear they need to have faith hmm. Maybe it's time for a change because that is this is about evolution, evolving, accepting, going with the flow. Hmm. Five of Pentacles. Well, the Five of Pentacles is financial hardship. It's being left out in the cold victim mentality being led somebody's being led down the wrong path there's help available but they're they're following somebody that doesn't have their best interest this is cold there's help available or there's an opportunity but it's being ignored very interesting there's an opportunity that is being ignored or something like that There's help available, but somebody's refusing to get the help or they're refusing to acknowledge it. There's a victim mentality here. It's time for a change. It's time to get help or it's time to, yeah, something like that. Everything changes. Something is changing. There's been lack, okay? There's been lack. There's been uh, neglect. Somebody has been following the wrong person. Somebody that doesn't have their best interest, but it's time for a change. Hmm. Hermit reversed. Fool reversed. Not going away. Not very wise. Not, not using their wisdom. Not really thinking. Somebody hasn't been thinking very much. You know, they haven't. There could definitely be some impulsive behavior here. There's a need to go. Take your time. Go within and think about this. Whatever it is, think about it. Take all the time you need to think about it. Maybe somebody has been thinking it's time for a change. Maybe they have. But there could be fear. Fear of neglect. Fear of abandonment. Fear of rejection. Fear of accountability. There's definitely some sort of fear. And there's foolish behavior. And there's missing an opportunity. It's almost like somebody can see that it's time for a change or they can they can see that, you know, there's lack or neglect, but there's fear, there's there's foolishness, there's missing an opportunity. Somebody's missing an opportunity. Star. Now the star is guaranteed success. It's unexpected help arriving. The stars are aligned. It's a time of renewal and hope and, and wish fulfillment. Hey man, look at the majors. This is big. Okay, we got six cards and five of them are majors. So this is universally driven. The universe is driving a change. This is big. Okay, with all these majors, it's probably out of your hands. Whatever is happening is universally driven. That's what's going on. This, is a, this has to do with the planetary aspects and the universal uh, transits, whatever. The universe is in control. Things are going to change. I mean, when the, all these majors comes out, the universe is assisting. Okay, the universe is in control. Now, this is a new perspective, gaining a new perspective. Um, somebody's been foolish. They have been foolish. 
hanging on to a belief or a person or a situation. They haven't been very wise. They've been thinking about doing something risky, but they've been stuck. There's a stuck energy with the hangman. Now we have Virgo, Aries, Pisces, Aquarius, Sagittarius. We have Aries. We had Aries in the cut as well. There could be some foolish pride here. There's definitely ego. It's time for a change. It's time for wish fulfillment. It is. It's a time for wish fulfillment. It's a time to come out of lack. Unexpected help is arriving. There's a need to look at things from a new perspective. There is a need to uh, let go of your fear. Let go of your fear. Let go of your fear. So there is a need to let go of fear and let go of... It's time to come out of lack, put it that way. Maybe somebody needs to accept help. Queen of Cups reversed. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Emotional withdrawal. Um, emotional manipulation. Sad. There's some sort of sadness here. Emotionally dry. I mean, there's nothing in that cup. The cup is upside down. There's nothing in there. Okay, this is dry, maybe shallow. Um, not very nice. Insulting. Mm. Knight of Pentacles. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is an opportunity to build a strong, solid foundation. This is a worker, somebody that is has a lot of integrity that is very interested in doing whatever it takes to have security. Somebody is doing something to have security. They're going to be putting in a lot of effort, working really hard. They're looking at something from a new perspective. This is somebody that is a planner. Okay, this is somebody that follows through with the plans, puts plans and actions, and takes a slow and methodical approach. Has to do with security, but there's emotional loss here. There's, uh, I feel like there's emotional manipulation because a hey man is a very manipulative card. So there is some sort of manipulation here. The stars are aligned. This, there's some sort of emotional loss here, or there's some sort of uh, lack of emotional stability. Lack of emotional stability. This is sad. But this is planning, coming up with a new perspective and taking a slow and methodical approach it has to do with wish fulfillment. I feel like we have somebody here that is looking for love or they're looking for something more. Back to that four of cups and we can see it here. They're hoping and praying, right? They're looking for something. They're looking for wish fulfillment, but there's just been some sort of delays or setbacks the uh, page of wands reversed. Maybe there's been some sort of negative talk or mean. Somebody's been really mean, you know. Maybe they've been aggressive or they've made so many foolish mistakes which has put them in a place of fear. Missing an opportunity, being foolish, making a poor judgment call. There's an exciting opportunity. There is an exciting opportunity but you're going to have to have faith. You're going to have to believe, okay? You may have to uh, do something risky, take a risk, you know? Anyhow, everything changes. Somebody's been thinking a lot. They have been thinking. They haven't made wise decisions in the past. Now they're in a place of lack. The stars are aligned for wish fulfillment. There's an, there's an opportunity for guaranteed success if you can look at things from a new perspective and let go. Let go of your fears. Put in the effort. Let go of your fears. Okay, let go of your fears. Let go of the lack. Okay, whatever is causing you lack, let go of it. There could be a reconnection here. Maybe there has been a reconnection. Ooh, seven of wands reversed. Now the seven of wands reversed can be 
giving up, stepping down, change in position. There's been opposition. Somebody's been in a tough position. They've been maintaining the position. Now they're losing the position or they're stepping down, quitting, giving up, not interested. And back that four of cups, not, somebody's not interested anymore. They're giving up on something. They've been maintaining the position, but there's been a lot of combat or fighting or battling. You know, there's been some sort of stiff competition, but this is stepping down, giving up choosing another option. Somebody's been confused, okay? There's been some sort of confusion. Um, there's many, many options here. Somebody has many options. Exploring the options. Somebody may be choosing another option. Exploring the options. Like I said at the beginning, with the, when I saw the Four of Cups on the bottom, that's confusion. Somebody has been confused. They've been thinking about another option, but they have and, and, and whatever this option is, okay, whatever the option is, it could be anything. Somebody's been thinking about another option that will bring them stability, but they may have to put in a lot of effort. This may require a lot of effort, a lot of work in follow through, okay? But that Queen of Cups reverse is some sort of sadness. It's, and there could be some sort of emotional discontent, emotional loss. So this could be somebody that, you know, cries. And there could be tears. It could be throws temper tantrums, um, uses their emotions to get what they want. Loss of emotional stability, taking action, choosing another option. Somebody hasn't been taking care of themselves. They've been giving too much to somebody else. The cup is dry. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's no, there's emotional inavailability, put it that way, with the Queen of Cups reverse. This is somebody that is emotionally unavailable. Hoping and praying. A wish is being granted. A new perspective is being gained. Somebody is taking an approach. It has to do with stability. They're letting, they are going to be letting go because this is like letting something go. It's no longer there. There's no love there. There's no love there. There's no love there. You know, there's no emotional fulfillment there. This is giving up the position, whether this is a work position, a relationship position, a friendship position. It's, just, it's like there's no, no love there and this is about being practical this is taking a responsible practical approach it's accepting responsibility giving it to somebody else somebody's going to be giving either the job or the work or the a proposal to, to to another option to somebody else There could be fighting. There could be a battle here. Stiff competition. There is some sort of competition here. Holding on to a belief. Holding on to the past. Holding on to something. But taking a solid approach. Putting in effort. To build a new foundation or to build up security because there's a lack of emotional content and wish fulfillment in the current situation. So somebody is doing something, okay? But there's fear here. Making an offer. Somebody's making an offer. They're doing something. They're choosing another option. There is still confusion. Stepping down from a position, giving up on something. There definitely could be a fall from power with, with these two cards, a fall from grace, you know.
somebody's definitely thinking about wish fulfillment they're thinking about stability long-term stability and they're choosing another option but they've been maintaining their position now they're giving up on it nine of this is an indefensible position this is somebody that you know doesn't think that they're going to be challenged but they are going to be challenged this is a uh, somebody that sits on a very high horse that has been wounded in the past and has faced many challenges and has overcome the challenges and they think that they won't or they thought they think or they thought that they won't be challenged but they are somebody's about to be challenged There's somebody here that doesn't trust, that doesn't trust, and they're, they're putting up a fight or something like that. They're putting up but because they don't trust. There's definitely some sort of emotional challenges here. Um... Page of page of wands upright so that that's a shift and there is a shift there's a shift in power somebody's losing their position or there's going to be a shift in position or a change in position there definitely could be a fall from power or a shift in power um nine of wands reverse this is somebody that is give there's giving up here giving something up letting something go there, there's been some sort of battle or stiff competition somebody's being challenged facing challenges now page of wands is, is a new energy it's a new vibration it's going in a new direction making a choice somebody's been confused this is a new vision this is doing something you know taking that risk facing fears somebody is going to be facing their fears they've been maintaining their position there's been emotional loss, emotional discontent, but now it's all about stability. This is taking action in regards to uh, making another choice, whatever the choice is. This is an offer or an invite or a message that is coming. It may open up some new possibilities. This is um, doing something risky. A message is coming. Somebody is giving up their stance or there's a loss of power. They're changing their position. There's some, they could be quitting. It's like just whatever. Ace of Swords reversed. Ace of Swords reversed is dishonesty, not telling the truth. Loss of power. Again, we have a loss of power here. Somebody's losing their power. They've lost their power over another person. They have. They've lost their power. They've, they've used emotional manipulation to control the situation. This is lack of awakening, lack of communication, being dishonest, lack of truth, lack of clarity. And there is confusion here. There is definitely some sort of confusion. Somebody is being challenged by the truth. They're being challenged by the truth. There's been dishonesty. Somebody's going to be taking a new approach, I believe. One more card. Somebody thinks that they're not going to be challenged, but they are. Something's going to be shut down, you know, or there, there's a change. There's just, this is a change. Queen of Wands reversed. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is angry, upset, nasty, manipulative, um, forceful. I saw forceful in this one as well, trying to force something. Somebody's trying to force something, and that's not going to go over well. 
They're going to be shut down. They're, there could be, they could be cut out. This could be a cut out, you know, going in a completely new direction. Somebody does think that they're not going to be challenged. They're trying to force something. They're trying to control something. There could be an angry burst as well. Something could burst, just saying. Could be an outburst, okay? Loss of power. Somebody's losing their position or there's going to be a shift. There's, there's going to be a change in position. Somebody's dishonesty. There is dishonesty here. There's been a lot of confusion. There's been, there is confusion. There is confusion. Somebody's about to be challenged, okay? They're, maybe their lies are being challenged or their choices or their decisions are being challenged. They're controlling behavior. There's a highly competitive energy here. Somebody that is highly, highly, highly competitive. So, I don't know if something's being taken down or they're quitting or they're giving up or they're being challenged. Somebody is definitely being challenged. For some, there could be another woman involved where there's some sort of stiff competition with this other woman. It feels like there's some, and I think I said it with this card, a temper tantrum, or emotional. Somebody may throw fit because, you know, they want to have control or they want to be in the top position and there's a fight, there's a battle. Somebody could absolutely throw a fit. There could be jealousy here. There could be. Last card. Everything changes. Something is changing. Somebody's been holding on to something, maintaining, but I feel like there's something that is going to happen. Um... It's out of control. I feel like it is. Somebody's about to be challenged. They thought they had it, but they but they don't. Oh, be very, very, very careful. There is some sort of deception here. The Seven of Swords. Lies, deception, cheating, stealing. We have somebody here that is very cunning, very, very clever, that, you know, has been deceiving for quite some time. This is somebody that is very strategic, that is a master manipulator. It's almost like, I want to say, hitting a brick wall. Getting caught. I gotta say, like being stopped, it's like this person thinks, because this is the challenge. It's like they think that they got it in the bag, but they don't. And whatever they're lying about or not telling the truth about, it's not gonna work out for them. Hmm. I feel like we have somebody here that is going to be really, really angry. They're going to be angry. They're going to be really, really upset because somebody's deciding to take a new approach. Somebody's being shut down, okay? They're being shut down. Another option and another choice is being made. And it's, and it's because of emotional lack. There's no love. There's no love, right? If there's no love, then why engage? There's no staying power. We have somebody here that flies, okay? They fly by the seat of their pants. Anyhow, I think that, I think that we need to uh, beware. Beware. Beware of manipulation. Beware of making the wrong choice. Choose wisely. Choose wisely because what you own owns you. And I'm saying that because of the Seven of Cups. Be honest with yourself. Don't let your emotions get out of control. You need to be, don't base your decisions based on just your emotions. You have to be grounded and fluid, okay? Let me start that right here. Think about the choices that you're making today, tomorrow, whatever. Is this practical? Is this practical? Are you being impulsive? Good luck.